going to give us some more etiquette tips, but I wanted to mention you should pay close attention, especially you ladies, because you can win your way into a foursome with us at East Park later this summer in Gulf of Sharon and I. Uh -huh. Oh, um, absolutely. How, how about let's address part of me. What just happened here for etiquette, Dave? You know what? I'm just going to let that one go. Much the same as Sherry did. <laughs> what do we have here, ladies? Wasn't me. That was me. I drive hard. Sherry, you hit a great shot here. Thank you, Dave. And your ball landed on the green. But one of the things that we have to do is we always have to make sure that we identify where our ball landed on the green. And if there's a ball mark like this, we must repair it. And I'd like to show you how to repair it properly so it not only smooths out the green for the people putting behind us, but it also makes sure that the green is in good shape and doesn't if we don't kill the grass where that ball mark was made. So come on over and I'll show you how we do this. Okay. So I have my ball mark repair tool here. If you don't have one of these, you could use a, a T as well. Basically what you do is you insert the ball mark repair tool just a little on the outside and you kind of push the grass back toward the middle like this. And you raise it up a little bit. And then if I may, can I take your putter? And what we do is we just take it now and pat it down like that. That was so good. And there you go. You'd never know that no. that happened. Uh, Berkey? Yeah? The shadow from your melon is in my line of passage right so now. So we're just getting, you know, a nice <laughs> close look at your etiquette. Thanks, girl. Not bad, Cher. Thanks, Berkey. Ooh, I got you, you little drowsy. She's playing Pokemon again. Distracted, she walked right across your putting line. I noticed that. And took a chance of possibly disturbing the grass, maybe making a footprint or scraping the grass, which you would have to putt through, and that would make it very difficult. So that's an example of bad etiquette. The way to get to your ball would have been better to come back behind Sarah's ball and walk around this way up to your golf ball so that your feet never went across the putting line of your playing park. Or maybe she was just trying to throw me off. Or maybe I she was know. just trying to throw you off. <laughs> sure. Marina, can you see my pit stains from over there? Yeah, I look like Taz. I kind of moved in the middle of the shot. You Don't put that in there. Time. Your game's looking pretty good since I last played a golf game with you, eh? Thanks, Bert. You're doing pretty well. You know what? I'm really glad we're playing together today. I know. And later this summer with a couple of listeners, it'll be super fun. Whee! Ladies, it's always great to have a nice conversation on the golf course, but sometimes it's just time to hit your shot. So, oh. so when it's time to hit, then, you know, the conversation stops, okay? And, and by the way, when somebody's getting ready to hit, that's when all conversation stops so that they can concentrate. That's just good etiquette to make sure that we're quiet when somebody's ready to go. Okay. And the other part is that when it's your turn, be ready, hit your shot, and that keeps things moving. We got to Sorry. Really? 